Good day to you. Welcome to another tutorial session once again. So in our last episode, we talked about uh, the plant-based sources of protein. Uh, we grow these forage crops for us to be able to save in our feed costs because they are very good sources of protein. And one of those forage crops that we discussed in our previous episode I'll put the link below so that you can uh, watch again that episode uh, is duckweed. So for today, we're going to elaborate further. We're going to discuss further on how to culture duckweed. So we all know that duckweed is very high in protein, about uh, 35%. So that's a very good source of protein indeed for our livestock. Before we start, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, okay? And click that notification bell so that uh, every time we have new tutorial uh, videos such as this, you will be updated always. So, let's go straight to our discussion today. So, what is duckweed? So, duckweed is the common name for a small family of aquatic herbs that grows in fresh water. It is actually the smallest flowering plant on earth. So typically found floating in thick mats of homogeneous populations in quiet streams or ponds containing high levels of organic matter. So you could seldom see them in running water because they are very tiny. So they need these quiet streams and ponds huh, where they keep still but now they can reproduce quickly. So they can double their mass in less than two days under ideal conditions of nutrient, availability of sunlight, and ideal temperature. We're going to discuss all of them. So extremely efficient absorbers of ammonia. So nitrate, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium, sodium, chlorine, boron, and ion. So with that, uh, characteristic now you can imagine that you can actually uh, grow or culture duckweed in your fish pond so that now they can absorb ammonia and nitrate so in a way it helps clean the water all right but of course because they are eaten by tilapia we have to uh, protect this duckweed all right I'll show you later how we're going to do it so duckweed can improve as much as 99% of the nutrients and dissolved solids in wastewater. Duckweed can have protein levels as high as 35 to 45%, very high in fact. You see, so it can really complement and supplement uh, our livestock feeds. So duckweed is an ex excellent feedstock for freshwater fish like tilapia and for poultry and our livestock. So how do we grow uh, duckweed? Well, we can grow duckweed in our pond. So it can be any size. If you have one square meter of pond or area, you will be, you will be able to harvest one kg every day. Yeah? Every day. So the water depth, at least one foot or 12 inches. And you have to maintain the pH level from 6.5 to 7.5. So it will survive at five to nine, but growth rate is slow. So water temperature, again, is six to 30 degrees Celsius. We need to provide shade roof to avoid stress due to excessive sunlight. So we can use indigenous materials like coconut leaves and uh, many other plants that, uh, that you can find in your farm. So duckweeds feed on organic matter rich in nitrogen. So animal dung like chicken, 
rabbit dung serve as fertilizers of duckweed. So that's the reason why uh, the water level, the depth of the water, it shouldn't be very uh, de deep. So that now at least they can absorb, uh, you know, the nutrients from from the bottom. The use of bukashi mud balls. Again, I put the link below on how to formulate bukashi mud balls. They are excellent feed for duckweeds because it reaches the bottom of the pond and slowly releases the nutrients and microbes. So I'll give the, the link below as I mentioned. So uh, important notes to remember when we are growing uh, duckweed in ponds. Avoid mixing duckweed and azola in your growing pond because they compete and sometimes one uh, overcomes the other. And most of the time it is the azola that is overcoming your duckweed. So growing ponds should be fish free because again, as I mentioned, uh, this duckweed is eaten by tilapia. So provide net separator if pond is grown with fish. Yes, to, to protect uh, our duckweed so that now the fish have, has no access to the duckweed. So it's like this. So growing ponds with net separator enables coexistence of duckweed and fish at the same time in a single pond. So uh, you can harvest every day and feed your fish, right? So like this. So how do we harvest duckweed? Well, it's very simple. We have a few steps to follow. Step one, place the five gallon bucket or crate and the basket along the bank of the pond near the end where you will be harvesting the duckweed. Both should be easily accessible while wading in the pond. Right. So step two, wade into the pond carrying the bamboo pole as you have seen in the photo, starting in the center of the pond. Step three, position the bamboo pole on top of the water and slowly guide it across the top of the water, corralling the duckweed as you walk toward one end of the pond. So continue to guide the duckweed until you have it worked into one corner of the pond. Anchor the ends of the bamboo pole on each side of the bank, allowing the main body of the pole to remain in the water to contain the duckweed. And then step six, you can retrieve the basket to harvest the duckweed. Step seven, use the basket Scoop the duckweed from the water and pour into your 5 gallon, gallon bucket. Step 8. Continue the harvest of duckweed from the water until you reach the quota of your duckweed, depending on how many kgs you would require for that day. Okay, Remember, 1 square meter of area, you can harvest 1 kg. So the high protein content of duckweed makes it the best alternative fish feed for tilapia, carp, pangasius, or cream dory, and catfish. And the pigs do love to snack on duckweeds as well. Uh, duckweeds for poultry is best, a great substitute of soy meal. So fermented duckweeds yields a very high nitrogen needed for plants growth. So after one week of fermentation, the liquid part is extracted and diluted with water for foliar spray while the solid part is used for livestock. So we're going to do uh, another session on how to ferment our duckweed and other forage crops. All right. So I hope you learned again something today and if you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe and then click that notification bell all right so that you will be updated always whenever we have new videos and don't forget to like and share as well so until until next time enjoy the rest of your day tum sifu yose kristo melele na melele amina mungu awa bariki god bless and keep safe bye